I mean, you would think that something like this would have happened a long time ago because, you know, there's so much history and so much there. But then you think about, like, who else could track all this stuff down, you know, and who else would be willing to do all that to go to that work and, you know, kind of make sense that it took this long? Uh, I always wonder why certain things don't happen. Like, I, I think I'm pretty good at, at seeing what's missing in the world. You know, like I was surprised when no one wrote a song called First Call. I wrote First Call and I'm like, someone has to have written this before. <laughs> Cause there's, you know, 10,000 last calls, but right, no, one right. I'm like, oh my God, no one wrote this before. All right. And, you know, people have opened punk museums, but they're usually specific like Ramones yeah. or LA Punk Museum or the DC Punk Museum. And uh, it just, uh, when the idea first started, of opening this place in Vegas and then it just, Oh, let's get all five decades. Let's be inclusive because punk rock music, the punk rock scene is the most inclusive, you know, mm -hmm. we'll any fucking dork or, you know, uh, any mis miscreant, whatever, as long as they're yeah. not total dick. Uh, it's a place for, for losers and misfits and D and D players. And uh, so of course the museum has to be all inclusive and, you know, you go upstairs and you're going to see some good Charlotte stuff. You know, right. it's, it's how it is. But they have to be in there. I mean, they're part, whether you like it or not. I mean, I, part, I think good Charlotte's a cool band, but they are part of punk, whether you like it or they not. They are part of punk. They started just like all the rest of us did. You know, yep. they spent a bunch of punk kids that liked Minor Threat and Rance. And and mm -hmm. how, however their career became, who cares? Yeah. They're a punk band. And I, and, uh, a lot of bands don't even consider themselves punk bands. I'm still fucking putting them in. <laughs> it's not up to them. <laughs> what are some of the bands that uh, that fit into that category? Uh, well, a Green Day do not consider themselves a punk band. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, they're in. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I put them in. They're in crossover. Okay. They're in crossover corner. Because yeah, they, they all started. That makes sense. Punk. They all started in yeah. punk. Uh, we have a couple family trees that aren't up yet, but like Foo Fighters. Every single person in the band now, especially, is from a punk band. Right. And like Nate, we stayed, no effects stayed at Nate's mom's house in 87 when he was in Diddley Squat in, you know, the uh -huh. Washington area. So it's going to show pictures of Foo Fighters and, and all the bands that everyone is from. Well, I'm glad you did that because one of the most frustrating things to me over the years is how kind of dogmatic and narrow-minded people can be of like punk only means the bands that I listened to when I was 15 to 18 years old. But, you know, when I was a kid, there were people telling me that the stuff I liked wasn't punk and, I, and this just keeps happening. So, I, you know, I, I think it's really cool that you, of all people, somebody who, you know, your your opinion means a lot, put your foot down on that. Yeah, well, and, you know, it is a privately owned museum. And, like, we're, we're not putting Screwdriver in. Yeah. You know, we're not going to put in a band that's com completely racist. Uh, we don't feel a need to do that. Now, there's yeah. some choices that we had to discuss. Uh, and we, we decided that we're not punk rock police. We are historians. And, if yeah. a, and uh, a good example is Fang. Should Fang be in the museum because Sammy Town killed his girlfriend for heroin? He did yeah. he was on America's Most Wanted. He he did twelve years time. He did his time, and now he's uh you know he's been sober for years and years. A very helpful person in society. Whatever, yeah, he fucked up, but Fang is an important part of you know. I mean, like there's a Fang sticker on Billy Joe's blue guitar. We have. What are we supposed to do? Take the Fang sticker off? Uh, right. No. Uh. I mean, it's, so well, it's tough because there are a lot of unsavory people, especially, you know, back in the day when things were more wild than they are now. There are a lot of unsavory people. And where do you draw the line? Yeah, you really can't. But we did it, Screwdriver, because they are a bit. I should quit mentioning them and giving them fucking. <laughs> but when you're an, an actively racist, not actively, but when you're a very racist band. Or very homophobic, you know, we don't really need you. Yeah. Although, I'm not going to get into that either, but, you know, what Fear said wasn't homophobic in 1981. Different time. And, and then there's, you know, Sex Pistols wearing swastika patches, 
were they, they actually were, Nazis or were they just trying to be assholes? Yeah, you know? just trying to be obnoxious. So, you know, you can't you, you can't cancel bands <laughs> when they for uh, what their views were when they were somewhat acceptable. Anyway, let's let's move on. <laughs> 